Hello folks and welcome. So uh, you're watching this on Linux for Seniors. You should have an icon of a person in the corner here that you can click to subscribe. 280 videos and growing. I may have to actually move this thing that I'm going to be doing a video on today because it will probably my subscription key could be covering but there's a line right at the end of the panel bar that I'm going to talk about because somebody asked me about that a long time ago and I kind of forgot all about it but I'm going to do a video on that today so you are watching this again on Linux for seniors you can subscribe if you like 280 videos and growing this is Linux Mint 21.2 cinnamon filming in 1920 by 1080 so um, let me demo some of the functions of this by default I will open up a card game and possibly a calculator just as examples all right so I got two items open if I click that bar, by default action, it hides things. You can also configure that. Now, since it's in the corner and my subscription key is probably covering that, I'm going to physically move that over to here, if you don't mind. So I'm going to right click on my panel bar and use edit mode to do this with. You know, I'm going to pick it literally up and move it over to here. Simple screen is uh, currently running and it, this, all these guys are kind of moved as a group. So that's why I did this like that. But I'm going to turn this tool off so we can uh, focus in on that little bar, that little line right here. So that's all this thing is doing by default. However, this is configurable. So hence, I'm making the video about this. So applets, we are the corner bar. If you decide to turn this off or eliminate it by right clicking and uh, removing, you will also find that it will also appear here after you reactivate it. This is not in, uh, you can't uninstall it. You can only activate and deactivate. If you deactivate that bar in the corner, it will appear over here. But I'll show you how to move that back a little bit later. Let's talk about the gearbox. By default conditions, this is show desktop and show desklets. Middle click I don't really use. I use my middle click button on my computer mouse for other things. All right, so I don't use um, normally a touchpad with this computer. I use a standard computer mouse. So that's what I'm using here. So show desktop is default. So in other words, I when I have items open, let's close this back up and reopen these two guys. All that does is when I click on it, it hide them. That's default action. You can also, if, if you're careful enough, you could right click that in the corner and look for the configure box. It's actually easier just to right click and do the panel thing. All right, just wanted to let you see you can do it two ways. Applets, corner bar, gearbox. So one of the tools you may want to use, and again, this is not perfect, is possibly show the expo. I don't have any desk glitz to show you, but anyways, I'll switch that to Expo. What that actually does is when I click that, it'll show workspaces. I'm going to add a couple more. So there's six workspaces right now. The current one I'm using is this one. We can also eliminate these things at will. Now there's four and they resize themselves automatically at least on my particular desktop and now I just have the two okay again I can click that to activate that I can also put those back so I'm gonna click that you can also hit the escape key if you just want to get out of this window I'm gonna click that so we're currently working on workspace one so that is the default action now that I've got this and it actually when you point at it it'll show that it's set for workspace selector okay Let's take a look at some more options. Under corner bar gearbox, we also have um, middle clicks, which I normally don't use because I use my mouse for other things. But I'll show the work sc or scroll wheel behavior. Um, let's do workspaces. And this one here is a little sensitive. Again, it's not perfect. I'm going to point my mouse cursor right at it and then use the scroll wheel on my computer mouse to scroll. That's workspace two, for instance. Three, four. 
And if I scroll back the other way, I should go back to one. A little touchy though, right? Okay, right click, applets. This is usually the easiest way that I do this. So that was the scroll wheel behavior. I'm gonna turn that back off. The peak at desktop on hover is an interesting one. Uh, again, a lot of these tools, you may see a use for it and some of them I do not. Everybody's different. Everybody sees something different. So I'm gonna do this with peak at desktop on hover and just leave the defaults. And what that is gonna do for me, it'll gray these out by me hovering over the icon. You can probably barely make out the cards, right? In uh, the flower takes precedence, but you can barely make out there's a card game sitting in front of it. Again, you can think of the usage. I, I currently can't, but there you have it nonetheless. Okay, let's go back to that gearbox. So again, I'm going to turn this peak thing off. All right, so we have the, the scroll wheel. Again, I don't use the middle click. And we also have this one here called scale. This is kind of a strange one, but uh, I am going to click that. I'll let you see that. Okay. That's all that thing does. It shows me all the open stuff too. You can actually see that's recording right now. All right. So I'm going to click one of those. If you um, remove the applet off the panel bar by deactivating that, because you can't uninstall that, it doesn't allow you, but you can deactivate them. If the corner bar is sitting in the corner, it will reappear over here and it will actually eliminate all your selections and go back to default. So an example of that is I'm going to hit the minus. And then I'm going to reactivate and it will appear over here just like any other applet. All applets when they're deactivated and reactivated always appear on the left side of the last icon on your panel bar. That would be right here. If your intent is to move it back to the actual corner where it belongs, you'll need to do it this way. Right click, panel edit mode, activate, turns that into a green box. Then tick, pick up the actual bar itself by clicking and holding, pull it straight up, and then wiggle it in the corner. Then let go of it, right click on your panel and turn this back off. They are kind of sensitive. So you click it sometimes and you'll think you don't click it, but it actually does. It just takes a second because you're in edit mode. There's a lot of actions going on right now. A lot of these move as a group and some of them move independently. If you uh, inadvertently move something, you can always uh, move this side of the house with the panel edit mode. This side of the house, you don't need to do that with. You just click and drag. These move independently. They don't need to be in edit mode. They're your standard icons, in other words. Okay, so currently the action of that bar is set for hiding. Why is that? Because I deactivated and reactivated. So anytime you turn these on and off, your corner bar, you deactivate and reactivate. First of all, when you deactivate and reactivate, they'll appear over here. And then more importantly, all the actions go back to default. So that is default. Okay, now you can configure it also if you're careful enough to right click on that thing and do it also here. I will use the expo this time. And then now if I click that, it will show me my four, four workspaces. And if I wanted to add more, I can certainly do that. All I do is hit the plus key. I'm going to deactivate some of these and they'll resize the windows for me. Let's go back to this one. Okay. So again, one of these things is applets, corner bar configuration, not a perfect tool but I thought I'd at least show you some options today regarding that little bar. Thank you for watching.